Okay, so the question, this is a question all of us probably wrestle with, is the question is, does, has, has God foreordained uh, my life or do I have free will? And the answer is yes. Uh, let me read to you a couple of scriptures here, okay? Don't, don't. I'm, I have so much restraint and control today. <laughs> it's amazing, Sean. Okay, <laughs> Ephesians 1, verse 3 says, Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places, even as he chose us in him before the foundations of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him, in love, he predestined us for adoption to himself as sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace, with which he has blessed us in the beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of his grace, which he lavished upon us in all wisdom and insight. So, I mean, there, it's obvious the word predestination is there. In other words, that God has predestined or predetermined certain things. But if you flip over to the next book of the Bible, uh, which is the book of Philippians, and uh, let's see if I can find this one. It's in Philippians chapter two. Um, I don't have it underlined here. But the one that I'm looking for is it says that it is God who, uh, God who has given us both the will or both the ability and the will. Oh, there it is, verse 13. For it is God who works in you both to will and to work for his good pleasure. So God is the one who's in you both giving you the will and the ability to perform his good will. So here's what I say is uh, when we talk about predestination, all Christians believe that God is all-knowing and he knows everything that has is and will ever take place. Nothing takes God by surprise. Some people call, say that that's determinism. In other words, God has already determined what you will do, what you will say, what you will think, who you will be before you ever are. And other believers say that no, God knows it because he foreknows everything, but he doesn't determine it. And I, I think the answer is probably somewhere in the middle. I think that God obviously has good works for each and every one of us that he has predetermined for us before we've ever been alive. I think that God has sovereign choice over uh, many people's, what they're called to do, but yet it's also God who puts the desire inside of us for us to pursue that. And so it's not an issue of us sitting back and saying, God, you need to just tell me what I was created to do and then I'll go do it the desire and the giftings and the abilities and even the path of your life has led you to this moment. Choices that you have made, how many know that we make bad choices sometimes? Okay, and Romans 8 says that God is even able to take our bad choices. It says he works all things together for the good of those who are called according to his purpose. So here's what we know. We know we're called according to his purpose we know that God knew us from before the foundations of the world and he has a plan for us. And then in our life, he both works in us and gives us desires and giftings that are like homing devices that lead us in the direction of the purpose and the calling that he has on each and every one of our lives. Now you have a free will in that and that you have to choose obedience to God. But that doesn't mean that God doesn't have any purpose or plan for you or that, um, that he's not working in your life to move you in that direction. So the way I, I say it is this, is you need to be able to sleep at night like a Calvinist and work all day like an Arminian. In other words, go to bed at night trusting that God has everything under control and work all day long like it's up to you. And when you do that, you will end up right in the center of God's will for your life. Uh, there is a mystery to the sovereignty of God that we don't understand because we operate on three, maybe four dimensions. God operates on a trillion dimensions. And if he runs out of it, he just creates more dimensions. So his ways are not our ways. We don't know how our will and God's sovereign will interacts, but we know that both are involved in our lives. In a practical level, we are responsible for our decisions, our choices, and obedience to the Lord, okay? Okay.